Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve and turn off low disk space error notifications on your Windows computer. So, pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. First thing is first, just want to put it out there that if you do have low hard disk space and I would highly suggest you perform a disk cleanup clean up the recycling bin, delete unnecessary files maybe in your downloads folder or whatnot. And I would highly suggest you do that stuff as well because this is not going to provide you a warning anymore, but it's not going to clean up the underlying issue. So again, if you just don't want to get these pop-ups, that's basically what this tutorial is about. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into achieving that objective. So we're going to start by opening up the star menu, just left click on the start button one time. You want to type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back with registry editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that. And then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and just left click on yes. Now before you proceed in this registry editor, I would highly suggest that you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it. In order to create the backup, just go ahead and left click on the File tab, select Export. Save it to a convenient location on your computer. Export range should be selected to All. And for file name, I would suggest naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Usually it makes the most amount of sense to me. And then just go select the Save option, so pretty straightforward. Once you've done that, now you want to go expand the H key current user folder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for Microsoft. And now go down to Windows. So we're going to just go down to Windows here. Expand that. And now there should be a current version folder. Expand that one. And then finally policies. So go ahead and left click on policies. Now before we proceed, just take note of our path up at the top of the registry editor here. So if you need to pause the video, if we're going a little quick for you, and you'd rather not rewatch sections of the video, just pause and then follow the path up at the top of this registry editor window here. Each backslash is a different folder we have gone underneath. And now on the policies folder, just right click on it, select new, and then you want to select key. You want to name this key explorer. So just delete where it says new key and type in explorer. How it appears on my screen, so like Internet Explorer, just without the internet part, and then hit enter. Now on the right side, you want to right click in a blank area, select new, and then select DWR 32-bit value. Type in no low disk space checks all one word, no spaces in between any of this, and the first letter of each of these should be capitalized. So again, no low disk space checks, and disk is D-I-S-C, not D-I-S-K, so just want to put that out there, at least in the spelling that we are following today. Hit enter on your keyboard. Now that you have done that, you want to go ahead and double click on this new value we created and in the value data field, delete the zero, type the number one, so don't spell out one, just type the numerical number one. Make sure base is hexadecimal, and then select OK. Once you are done with that, you can close out of here, restart your computer, and that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.